most product owners or people that have been given the role or accountability of product owner don't really comprehend the, the, the breadth of the product owner role. And it's generally sold to them or told to them as being focused on um, creating a product backlog and making the team work through it. Um, and that's only a very small part of, of a product owner. Um, a product owner is really an agile product manager, right? They're a product manager that has a bunch of additional skills and understandings um, that, that are encapsulated a little bit in the accountability of the product owner in Scrum. Um, and it, it's really important that um, product owners understand the breadth of the possibilities of the product owner role, what it is they're supposed to be looking at. Um, and I, I, I find that, that quite often mo most people who come to a product owner class um, realize that they don't want to be product owners because it's a lot bigger role with more actual accountability um, than they really realized that it was it, it, it was in the first place. Um, so a, a product owner is accountable for spending the money, right? A, a product owner is accountable for that. If you, even if as a product owner, you only have control over ordering that product backlog, Right? Maybe you can't even delete stuff from the product back backlog. Maybe you can't add new stuff that you come up with yourself, but you're just ordering that product backlog. Then you're controlling the budget. You're deciding when we deliver each piece of functionality. Um, and that, that's, that's really powerful. If you can then gain the ability to remove and add things to the product backlog, you're then going to be hopefully more effectively spending that budget um, and for a product owner that that means a lot of things right what what do you think a product owner in order to maximize the value of the work done right so we're going to put stuff in the product backlog team's going to work through it maximize the value of that work and um, what do we need to look at what information do we need and what what controls and levers do we need to be able to have those conversations because it's it's not just about focusing on the backlog and the team. It's not just about being a, a funnel for the the um, requests from the organization, right? It's about making decisions. It's about placing bets. It's about looking at probabilities of what's what do we think is the most effective uh, uh, thing to work on. What's going to produce the most value now? Um, for the organization or the most long-term value, depending on your, your, your timelines and topics that you're, you're thinking of delivering in the product. So as a product owner, you really need to be looking out into the future. You need to be looking at what's happening in the business. What's the trend in the market? How do I um, get to where I need to be in order that instead of me looking at my competitors and saying, oh, that's cool functionality, we should add that, that they're looking at my features and they want to add and follow my trend that I'm setting for features and capabilities in the market, effectively shifting your product from following the market to leading the market. And in order to do that, you need a clear picture of, of a lot of information. You need access to levers within the organization to be able to um, change what you're working on based on those needs and that understanding, right? What's the next bet? What's the in next uh, uh, hypothesis that you have for something that you think is going to provide value and can you invest in it? Um, and that takes a lot of building relationships, understanding uh, uh, the, the, the business and the market that lots of people don't, don't understand as part of the product owner role. So if you want to be a product owner, just coming to a training class is not going to help you be the best product owner, okay? But a training class is going to help broaden the scope of your understanding of what that role is and what are the different tools and techniques that you can at least start with to start investing in some of those areas that perhaps you're missing. 
that's the value of coming to a product owner class. If you want to have a discussion about your unique needs or situation, then please book a call or visit us at nakedagility.com. Uh, we also have our immersive and traditional public classes on our website and we'd love to hear from you.